Hello, so how do we turn this 2D spline shape into a 3D object? So the steps you need to follow are the following. You need to be in edit mode. Once you're in edit mode, you've then if you go to your tools and your curve tools, you've got a, uh, a little button called toggle cyclic, which basically in, in English sort of means close the shape and try and shade it as a polygon, basically, or set of polygons. Um, clickety splat doesn't work why doesn't it work well it's because we haven't selected any points so select some points don't select the whole thing you just select a single point over here then when you toggle cycle it it's then knows you're talking about this curve shape and then you've got a nice very very thin 2d curve shape how do I give it some depth then so over on this area you've got under your curve tab You've got a uh, 2D and 3D. Oh yeah, by the way, if you're in 3D, it won't do it. You've got to be in 2D. You can now go out of edit mode. So you can hit tab key to get out of edit mode. You can then go over to your extrude tool and say, I want it to be 20 uh, centimeters. <laughs> 20 centimeters. There you go. And then you can do an offset. You can do a bevel on that. So bevel depth is uh, one centimeter. And then you can say how many, uh, things you want on that we'll say four and that gives you a sort of nice looking shape with a bit of a bit of a shiny edge to it and that is that that is how to turn a 2d shape into a 3d object and extrude it as well and give it a bit of a bevel that is that see you in a bit